Hi everyone, welcome to another headphone.ph review. Today we don't have a headphone review, instead we have a digital audio player, which is this DPS-1 from Onkyo. Shout out to Onkyo Philippines for sending over this uh, player for review. The Onkyo DPS-1 is a palm-sized DAC from Onkyo that retails for 26,990 pesos, which I think converts to around $550. The form factor of this player is fairly you know, light and compact. It's made from aluminum, a uh, single block of machined aluminum uh, with some mixtures of, of plastic for uh, just, just to make the, the, the weight lighter. The back part here is a textured plastic which you know, gives it a, like a leather look, but I think it also makes it feel quite cheap. But the purpose of this is to protect the back part from, from scratches, especially since you'll be oftentimes placing it back like this on, on a table. So the screen is a 2.4 inch capacitive touch. Uh, it, it's not the, the most colorful screen, obviously, and it, it, but, but it gets the job done as far as uh, playing your music, changing settings, and things like that. I didn't experience um, like lags when scrolling through my music. However, if you have a lot of uh, like audio files here in your player, you may experience some, some lag. Uh, the the buttons are actually pretty mushy as a whole. Uh, this 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 one here is the power button. Uh, this the three buttons here are play, pause, forward, and and back. This part here is a micro SD slot. It, it's actually two micro SD slots, uh, which means you can put a couple and make up to make it up to 512 gigabytes and that's something that you'll definitely need since this just comes with 16 gigabyte onboard storage which which is pretty disappointing this is the micro sb uh port for charging the the player the volume uh, rocker is here and it's actually fairly loose uh, looser than what i was expecting However, there's no problem in terms of, um, I, I feel like it accurately increases or decreases the, the volume. It's, you don't have to worry about you know, bringing it from 10 to 50 in a, in a couple of uh, swipes. Uh, because this is a, uh, a, a digital audio player, it really doesn't come with much. The box is a standard box like this. And the, it just contains a, uh, micro USB cable that you can use for charging and for transferring files to your uh, layer. This DAP is equipped with a couple of ES9018C2M Sabre DAC and a couple of uh, ES9601K amplifiers which makes it for a really clean sound output and the amplifiers help like drive headphones that are up to 600 ohms. I, I don't have any headphones currently that are like high uh, impedance headphones, but I do have uh, Hi-Fi Man HE 400i, which even though it has low impedance rating, it, it's hard to, it's, it's not the easiest to drive, but, and I also have the Biodynamic DT880 250 ohms, which I've used in testing this, this player. In terms of like file formats, it supports just about every audio file available whether it's you know FLAC, ALAC, WAV, even the recently introduced MQA and you know of course like every other mp3 files that is available compressed files such as mp3. It also has uh, upsampling that allows you to, to basically upsample compressed files for you know improved sound quality and finally, it, it's also equipped with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which are you know not really audiophile you know features, but come hand come in handy for for this type of device. The Wi-Fi can 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 be used for um, for for on-demand streaming services such as Tidal, Deezer, and TuneIn. You can also use it for upgrading the updating the firmware of this uh, this player. The Bluetooth is, is handy if you still want to use Bluetooth headphones, wireless headphones like me. Unfortunately, it doesn't come or support the uh, the more recent 
app x codec instead it has the inferior sbc codec which is uh which i know is gonna be a problem for some people there's a lot more details but i'm gonna spare you from from the the, the gory details and instead i'll link you to the article over at headphone.ph which also links to some other external sites that have the actual technical specification for this player. So in terms of sound quality, I, I figured it's important for me to give a good context of my experience with digital audio players before I begin my assessment and uh, I, I don't have a lot of experience with digital audio players, especially recently. Uh, I've tried the FIO X1, X3, and X5 many years ago, I think it's four or five years ago. Uh, outside of that, I owned uh, an LG G6 smartphone, which is equipped with a Sabre DAC as well, and is a fairly clean sounding for a smartphone. And now I have uh, the Samsung S10, which you know I, I'm using a lot uh, casually for, for listening to uh, music and, and watching YouTube videos. And really, I'm the type of person that just is very practical in terms of music on the go. I'm oftentimes content with just using a, a wireless uh, headphone via Bluetooth to, to play music. And so I, I think that's something to consider before I, I give the uh, evaluation of this one. So coming from the S10 to this player, it is noticeable that the sound is much cleaner, it has better resolution, and it's more spacious. I'm amazed that uh, for such a small player, it's able to deliver uh, an audio quality that is comparable to a normal desktop amp. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with it, and I've uh, rotated a bunch of headphones, namely the Hyphenman HG400i, the Biodynamic DT880-250 ohms and for in-ear monitors I've had the Etymotic ER4P as well as the, just the stock AKG cable that uh, AKG headphone that, uh, that that came with the Samsung S10. I, I did find that uh, the audio here is very good. It's, it's very it, it's neutral but there is some added punch that I, I feel is added to the headphones and like I said earlier it just makes the the headphone cleaner sounding as a whole. Now obviously uh, S10 and, and this one's not a fair comparison because S10 is a smartphone whereas this one's an audiophile player uh, but going through my memory of the X1, X3, X5 from, from Vio I would say that uh, I'm, I was, wasn't really impressed that much with the X1 and X3 when I tried them. The X5 was I would say comparable to the resolution of the of this uh, player but my problem with that is the audio hissing that is um, coming out when plugging in IEMs especially like low uh, impedance IEMs uh, it's not like a lot of hiss but it's audible and once you hear it it's hard to unhear it and to me that's kind of kind of annoying but those uh, FIO players are or actually, I, I don't even know if they're available still. So maybe it's not the the fair comparison. So there are also other uh, features or options that you can play around with this one. Um, it, it's got an equalizer, uh, which for this one is called uh, custom sound. I didn't I, I play around with it, but I did toggle the bass enhancer, which was quite fun. Um, like some of my headphones are you know can use some some bass emphasis and I feel like the uh, bass level enhancer here works quite well it doesn't add distortion it it if the the bass of your headphone is is tight boosting it doesn't make it loose it's still gonna keep the tightness of it which is nice um, it also comes with uh, digital filters uh, sharp slow and short to be honest I didn't bother with it too much the default setting is sharp and it's uh, it's supposed to give the the most neutral quality. If if you want to learn more about the filters in, uh, in general, there is an article linked from the review of this DAP, uh, which is linked below. So the battery life of this is, is pretty okay. They, they're advertising it as something that would last for 15 hours, which is which I guess is possible if you don't do anything 
but in my experience I've, I, I got uh, seven to eight hours of battery usage um, that includes you know playing music for countless number of hours and uh, scrolling frequently and changing settings in the player so do I recommend this player again um, if, if you you're watching this video and you're hoping that I can make an assessment based on this value then I'm sorry to say that it's not gonna be the case because as I said I, I don't have a vast experience in terms of digital audio players but I think you know if if I have the money if money is not the problem and this is the only DAP that I've tried without researching other solutions would I be happy enough to pay the price of 26,000, 27,000 to upgrade to this one? The answer is yes. I, I like the form factor of this player. I think the, uh, the flexibility of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are great, but really it's the sound that uh, makes me want to own this, um, this digital audio player. Uh, the, the sound is really clean and, and once you listen to this, it's hard to go back to a normal smartphone audio. Uh, realistically though, it's, you know, that that's not going to be the case because you'll always try to find the best, you know, value out of the, the money that you're paying. And in that case, even without looking at other products, there are things that I wish um, this could have done better. Uh, the screen is very low resolution. It's not as um, as smooth as I guess a normal smartphone the bo the buttons are are mushy the storage option is not good it's just 16 gigabyte um, and and as a whole I, I feel like those things are not you know audiophile features which makes me think you know maybe I'm not the target for this uh, maybe I'm spoiled too much by the um, the smartphone advance advancements in the past you know five to seven years uh, but the one thing is clear with this product is it, it, it's, it's a true blue audiophile product that uh, someone who's just very, very uh, particular with sound will like. Uh, and in, in that case, again, if you want a good step up from whatever you're using and you don't mind like the little things that, um, that I mentioned that I don't like, then go ahead and give it a try. Otherwise, of course, it's better to look around and compare other products in the market. I've, I've heard some products have uh, better like op operating systems. Some of, their, some of them are even based on Android operating system, which is interesting. Some of them have smoother uh, interface and better storage options. So those are things that you have to check uh, when you're looking for a DAP. So that's about it for this review. I hope I'm able to help you with deciding on this product. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Subscribe for more uh, reviews like this and visit headphone.ph for the text version of this review. I'll catch you guys next time.